Over 13,000 people in the UK have stoma surgery each year, with over 100,000 people currently living with colostomy, urostomy or ileostomy bags. But how often do we really hear about people talking about it? Well, three people who are desperate to remove the stigma attached to living with a stoma are Sam Kalisby, who writes a blog about life with her ileostomy bag, and one of the UK's leading colorectal surgeons, Ian Daniels, and Judy Spires, who, along with her husband Rick, has invented something which they hope will improve the lives of those living with stomas. Welcome to all of you. Thank you, Thank you for coming and actually talking very, very openly about this. Um, Judy, I want to start with you, first of all, because you and your husband, Rick, invented something and this sort of came out of desperation and necessity because there's nothing like it out there. Absolutely. When Richard had his uh, ileostomy, he came out of hospital and thought, I will take my stoma bag off, I will clean, I will get in the shower and I'll clean all around it and that'll be lovely. That's when he discovered that the stoma had a life of its own yeah. in that it can drain uh, when you least expect it. So he was left with waste in the shower, not the clean experience he expected. Yeah. So he came out of that and was really, really, really upset about yeah. this and thought, oh, this is dreadful. How can I go and stay with people? You always clean up after yourself, but what's going to happen? And he's a very active guy. He's a very well. active guy. So he, he looked on, on the website. We couldn't find anything. We saw people with bags, carrier bags with towels. So we sat down one night and thought, right, we need some kind of bag that sits underneath the stoma that collects all the waste. So I was looking up at the curtain and I said, oh, there's a nice bit of swish track there, <laughs> you know, a bit of curtain track. So between us, we knocked off this Heath Robertson kind of affair of um, track, uh, gaffer tape, thank you all gaffers, gaffer tape, clothes pegs and a carrier bag. And he tied it around him with a belt, tried it out, came out of the bathroom and said, it's amazing. I can stand up, I can clean, all the waste can go into the bag, all the cloths I've been using, I can then, if I've got a liner inside, screw it up and it's disposable. Then he thought to himself, well, I like to go on Dartmoor. In Dar on Dartmoor, he'd find himself kneeling down and emptying the bag. That was taking the bag off, but you've got to yeah. empty the bag five, six, seven times a day. I didn't realise how difficult and complicated it was. All yeah. that you were expected when you um, when you emptied prior to this, and yeah. um, it's only uh, obviously unless you know someone or it's a part of your life, you know you you don't look at these areas, and that you would be in the past expected to. If you're in a public loo, oh. kneel down on a dirty public toilet floor uh, and change it over the How loo. many times do you find a toilet that hasn't even got a seat on it? Yeah. Mm. So you sit on a toilet and you've got to do all that and the mess gets everywhere. With this, the bag, you've got your sanitizer, even if there's no toilet. You can do it in a changing room. If you're in a tent, mm. you could use it in a tent if you went to Glastonbury. So, Sam, you, you write this blog, a very humorous, very informative blog, you know, Thank taking you. taking the stigma out of stoma. Yes. And, um, and, and you've tried it. Yes, yeah. And? When I first got it, I wasn't sure that there was a problem that needed to be fixed because, like you say, you just get used to it. You get on with what you need to do. Um, and then I tried it, and it was, it's, a, it's a great product. And I think a lot of things that are on the market now uh, come from a very medical place, whereas this comes from a lifestyle place. It comes from somebody who's got a stoma, knows what it's like. Uh, yeah, it's a great And it product. did make, make it easier for yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We're not very good about talking this sort of things, are we? We're just We're not. not. It's not a sexy area of medicine, is it, that people are like, look what we can do, heart surgery. We're talking about bowels, we're talking about poo, we're talking yes. about things like that. People don't like to discuss these things. They don't, they don't. And that's why I started the blog. Uh, about three years ago, I ended up having surgery uh, because I had ulcerative colitis. Yeah. Um, and I googled and I searched online and I couldn't really find anything. I found a lot of things that were medical based, mm. uh, but I wanted to see, I wanted to hear from a real person yeah. um, and I couldn't find that and so that's why I started my blog So oh, Badass. Well and it is, a, it well is a life changing but, but very copable with situation. Absolutely. Um, and, and you, as I said in, uh, at the beginning, you've approached it with a sense of humour. I think you have do it's it's a very difficult thing to talk about mm. uh, there's a it's huge a taboo image. around it thank <laughs> you thank you um and i just wanted to get out there and and get get talking about it it's yeah. really helped me deal with my journey 